It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs. All that and more coming up next. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, a rematch of last year's AFC Championship game as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But CD, this Chiefs club, you'd have to imagine, well positioned to make a run at repeating a Super Bowl champions. But it all starts and ends with number 15, and that, of course, the reigning league MVP, Patrick Mahomes. And it's not just his talent, as you know, partner, because we've seen that on display. It's his leadership and the trust that the organization has in him to help bring along an offense and turn it into one of the league's best. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bengals, it's a team that's been to the Super Bowl three times in their history, has never won it, but there's just a sense that this could be the year, and you don't disagree. I certainly do not, because go back two seasons ago, many thought it was a fluke that they got to the Super Bowl. Well, they came back the next year, and they got to the AFC Championship game, and were extremely disappointed they didn't get back to the Super Bowl. The pieces are in place, the confidence is high. Evan McPherson has this one teed up and into a sea of red. We're underway in Kansas City. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Well, the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And simply put, for many, He's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Right to the air is Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good, and once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Now Mahomes. And he is caught. And he will have a Chiefs first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Heck of a start for them here, Charles, on this opening drive, and they're doing it all through the air. That's four snaps and four passes so far. I do think that there's an argument, Brandon, to maybe mix in a running play or two, but the way that these offenses are constructed, you can get that done with swing passes and check downs. The way they're throwing it, I'd keep pressing it downfield. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Now is second and ten. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. 
They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. It's one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping that one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. Second and ten. And again, it's Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. Here is third down and four. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Pacheco, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are on the board first here this afternoon. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7 nothing game. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here come the Bengals now to take over. And they're brought out by the former Washington Husky, undrafted back in 2019, Jake Browning. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on the national stage like this. Really, his entire career has demonstrated credible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. Now a three-time 1,000-yard rusher, Joe Mixon. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Browning. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. 
and most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with, and there's a completion right there. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 41. Throwing there, but this pass is gonna wind up incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off of a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap, came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch them on their heels. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Here's Browning. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Not the one that starts throwing the football. He was one for three, now one for four on the opening drive. So getting him comfortable is the key. And for him, it might be different than what we think is comfortable. We're probably thinking swing passes, easy check downs. Some guys, they're better off throwing it downfield. That's what really loosens them up. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. To throw, Browning. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. Play action, Browning. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Tershawn Wharton drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. Points up about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So on fourth down, on is Evan McPherson in the Bengal field goal unit. This from 42 yards out. McPherson's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So the three points there, and CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's <laughs> the simple, guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? 
They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Mahomes going to throw. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantlick. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. Jones on the return. And following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. On first and 10, Browning. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're gonna try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from it. They feel like they've got something there and they want to capitalize on I it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. On second down, here's Mixon. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. From the gun on third down, Browning. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. A stop made defensively by Mike Edwards. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. But, partner, if the defense isn't going to adjust and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. The Browning's throw into the hands of Sample. That'll give them eight that time, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Looking to throw again on second down. Browning, they'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw, Browning. And the 
this is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Throwing again on second and ten. Browning. Incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their play call and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll look to throw again. He'll drop this one down to mix it. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Lock the ball of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? McPherson's kick is good, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. Well, good start for him in this one here in the first quarter, and he's now 2-2 two for two on field goals. And I know while the offensive coaches are telling their guys, hey, let's leave the kicker out of it unless it's an extra point, this could pay dividends if this game is tight down the stretch. His confidence is going to be sky high if they need him for a big-time kick. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. Now a seventh round surprise from a year ago. It's Isaiah Pacheco. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. to six. The second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. Meanwhile, the home throw here complete to Kelsey. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Open man right side is Rice. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Broke yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. On first and 10, here's Pacheco, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. And that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. 
Ball at the 23, second and eight. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Open man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll get this down to the 10. A solid pickup at 13, sets him up first and goal. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions, first and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting, pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They fake the give. Now Mahomes steps away to his left. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. touchdown run and the Chiefs are able to extend their lead and that's the way to find pay dirt Patrick Mahomes hey you remember some of the scrambles in the playoffs last year while he's playing on a bad wheel oftentimes he's maneuvering just to find a way to throw the football but last season four touchdowns on the ground a career high continuing to develop as a runner and often finding the end zone these days extra point by Bunker is on target and the lead is up to eight After the touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field. They're kind of searching for that magic elixir. You know, they're moving the football a little bit but not with any great consistency. I love that term you just used, elixir, right? <laughs> Old school. Old school, I love that. Because you don't want to put too much pressure on your defense as well, all right? If you're kicking field goals, that's great. But your defense has to keep going out there and holding the other team. You're not giving them any cushion to work with, and that gets tougher and tougher as the game goes along. Put the ball in the end zone and get sixes. That's the ambrosia that they're looking for. <laughs> ambrosia and trying to erase this deficit. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again. Browning. Got a man open. It's Chase. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. to throw. Browning dumps it off to Mixon. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Inside handoff to Mixon. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Really good stop there by the end in this 4-3 defense. Yeah, not just pass rushers anymore, are they? Those guys can use their hands, control the point of attack, shed those blockers, and go get those ball carriers. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. 
They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Again, it's Mixon. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 35 on second down, Browning, throw left side complete to Chase. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 19. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Mix it up the middle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Looking to throw. Browning throwing it in traffic there. That's complete. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Back to throw. Browning. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Drew Sample, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals have come back to make it a two-point game. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is cut to one at 14-13. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. And now here comes Kansas City. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try to pick it up on third down. Fifth catch of the afternoon and that gives him a first down.
Throwing now is Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. A gain of eight there on the play. And it'll be second in a couple. Here's Pacheco headed right. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That goes for a gain of 31. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. He'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts... And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Kadarius Tony, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to add on to that lead. Butker now to add the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's Kadarius Toney who caps things with a touchdown reception. the touchdown here's Butker on to kick it away this fielded right at the goal line and able to get this out to the 25 now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here there have been points on the board we just saw back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives I love it I'm high-fiving our statistician Christian McLeod and you you're, you're angry you're a defensive guy if you met one of my defensive coordinators, God rest his soul, I'm surprised he isn't in this booth right now wanting to really take you on. This is not football <laughs> the way he sees it. I he wants it. a good old-fashioned kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up-and-down-the-field game here. I'll take him. Where's, where's his tombstone? <laughs> Boot Hill, baby. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he goes out right around the 39. Calling a gain of three on the play. And that will bring up second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. To throw again on second down, Browning. And his throw is incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the intended receiver, third down here. So 
So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking deep here for Chase. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off. And the Chiefs are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Well, I'll tell you, Brandon, this ball is intercepted, but it is third down. So the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it, really this kind of works like a punt. It's not an altogether bad result. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Now a throw for the all pro Kelsey is complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Now Mahomes. He'll drop that off to Edwards Alaire. Four yards to pick up, first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Two yards to go, second down. To throw, it's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Rice. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. And he's going to miss this 
this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright. And this will stay a one-score game as the lead holds at eight. One of the few things that hasn't gone right in this first half. They had a chance there for late points, but this one winds up off the mark. The Bengals drive about to get going. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. A final shot before break. Browning. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the reigning league MVP and Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, who did his thing. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. set to get the football first and they trail here as we get started in the second half from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he will be brought down here inside the 20 good coverage as he's dropped at the 17 the Bengal offense ready to go to begin this third quarter this offense Charles had a strong first half throwing the football at least in terms of yardage but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum yeah you're right about that because you know let's face it in the first half most of their focus was in the passing game and to their credit resulted in a healthy amount of yardage so i would think that at halftime they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes they've got to get the running game going and there should be some gaps to run through now and now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete we have got to give out a little applause on that play it has to go to the defense more good work by them they've taken away the passing lanes all game long and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten to throw browning and he's going to be brought down back at his own six yard line willie gay getting in there and picking up the sack Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now third down and very long. Now Browning. Incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. The Bengals bring out their punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. On the return, it's Tony. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? 
Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. Let's we'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. So from the 37, here's second down at a yard. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Short throw held in by Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll get this down to the 30 yard line. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Another. It's on the ground. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. From the 21, it's second and 10. An option handoff here to Mixon. And the Chiefs D closes in on him again, and they drop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Here's Browning. And that's going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Here comes Tony on the return. Dances by him. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. First and ten, here's Mahomes. That'll be caught, it's Tony. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A good pick up there, 22. Now it's Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Rice. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? All right, 300. That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. And it looks 
looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Mahomes to throw on third and one. That is caught by Rice for a Kansas City touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Chiefs go up by two touchdowns. An out route there for the score. A quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really serving the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands. Knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And the lead is up to 15 now. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. He has still not connected on a single pass in this second half. And right now, they're going through all the different reasons, the whys, the wherefores, bottom line. Got to find some completions in there and get their offense moving. An option hit off here to mix it. And he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going into the quarterback in an expected passing situation. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Browning. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A draw play for Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From the 44, Browning. That's taken in by Higgins. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 41. Here's a give to Mixon. Juke. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Throwing on first down. Browning. His throw incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. A handoff to Mixon. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Back to throw. Browning. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Looking to throw. Brown throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Brandon Summers one does a throw football that exists when you're between the 20s. They don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Operating from the gun. Browning. This is caught. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamar Chase. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. After allowing that last score, the defense knows they've got to tighten things up. Otherwise, they'll let them right back into the game. McPherson on for the point after. And this one's back to an eight-point game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Jamar Chase who finished it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Set to take over, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone Describe the game as really slowed down. Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, it's snail's just, pace. Oh, snail's pace for him, and he can do whatever he wants. Feels like he has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now a toss left for Pacheco. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and 
it's fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Cincinnati set to take over once again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. This is second and eight. Back to throw. Browning. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with the first and ten. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now a second and two. Throwing now is Mahomes to Valdez Scantling over the middle. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I would describe the way that he's played today as mature. He's already moved on mentally from that incompletion, and he's more than ready to throw his next pass downfield. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. His big game continues. Ten catches now and another first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. Second 
Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and three. Now Mahomes toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that not just important in the fact that it widens their lead, but really that was a textbook job of just hanging on to the football. And we know all the time that coaches talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's a stat that doesn't matter much, but in this drive, it matters a lot. They want to reduce time and score points and lock this game down. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And out now, here come the Bengals. A tougher task for them now. That turnover on their last possession led to the field goal, meaning that they have to now try to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Out to the left, he's got Sample there. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that's gonna bring up second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Browning's throw caught by Higgins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. And for as poorly as this offense has looked at times, it's the fourth quarter and they're still in this game. That's a good, confident throw right there. And now, who knows? If you can put a drive together here, you can make something of this game after all. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll look to throw again. That's complete to the tight end sample. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he is going to have a Bengals first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Swallowed up right away. 
A gain of three, second down. Brings up second and seven at the 39-yard line. Looking to throw. Browning. Over the middle, complete. That's Boyd. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 18. A gain there of 21 yards. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw. Browning. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Tershawn Wharton able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. From the gun again to Mixon. It's a gain of five, but they're still deep in a hole. 15 yards still to go on third down. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. A tough spot here, third and 15. Off the play fake, Browning. That is caught, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash, dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Beautiful throw right there on third down, and it looked like this was going to be six points, but a nice touchdown-saving tackle at the end of this. Even still, this offense is knocking on the door now with a first and goal at the one. Mixon. We'll take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll look to throw, and this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes. 
Got an open man. It's Valdez Scanling. Calling a gain of six on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. He's got his target, that's complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating defensively. You're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Mahomes now on first down. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one goes for 24 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 38. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And again, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on a touchdown pass. And the Chiefs get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive in total, eight plays, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. Escapes the defender. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Now Browning. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
to throw Browning. This pass complete to Higgins. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're going to tell you. You can have six, seven yards. Do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've got to start attacking vertically a lot more. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Here's Browning. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores, they have to try and make something good happen. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. But they can thank their defense for another stop. And now look at the score where they've got the football. They're looking pretty good. They're looking excellent because now you're thinking to yourself, let's just take some time off the clock, work it down. And of course, you put another touchdown on the board. You pretty much say bye bye to this one. Play calling here can be a little bit more conservative because of the lead. A little bit more conservative. The biggest thing, everyone understands how to get the ball downfield and how to stay in bounds and make sure the clock keeps running. On first and ten, here's Mahomes to Valdez Scantling over the middle. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Another catch for Valdez Scambling. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They go play fake. Mahomes. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will pick up the first down as he is out of bounds. And on that, we will reach the two-minute warning. Here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Pacheco. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Once more, it's Pacheco. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Now Mahomes, and he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Kadarius Toney with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. For the Bengals offense getting set and ready to go again here. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. On first down, Browning. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hudson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Here's second and ten. Back to throw again. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. T. Higgins, 48 yards. And the Bengals have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two.
Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this 